Looking for an anchorage only 20 minutes away from the Gold Coast Seaway. We're heading for probably the Gold Coast's favourite little getaway where you can anchor and take your day boats. It's an awesome little place. We're going to Tipler's Passage. This is Damien, we are on board our Mary Fisher 895 named Antoinette and we are heading north. There's a bit of a southerly breeze behind us, you can see my hair's a bit blowy. So Tipless Passage is a perfect spot to tuck in out of those southerly winds. Yeah, so uh, we've pulled in to what we affectionately call uh, Molly Pippa's Island, this little sandbar behind us. And we'll give you a little bit of an idea why we've pulled in here before we head up to Tipplers. But yeah, it's just a little bit past Curran Cove, we've done another video there. And it is the place, it's really close to the Gold Coast, so it's an easy drive in uh, jet ski. Lots of jet skis love it. So we're going to check it out. We've uh, taken a day off work, a bit sneaky, and we're going to head up there now. As you can see as we come into Tipplers, we're just taking this turn now. So usually we head up that way. So we're taking this starboard turn and you can see the water's glassed off a little bit. A lot of wind is on today. I'll show you that in a second. But um, yeah, this is why this is so popular is in the predominant southeast winds that we get around here. Uh, this is a great little tuck away. We're going to keep going. We're just about to come down to six knots now. Brooke's got the puppies, we'll get anchored up, we'll get all settled and uh, tell you a little bit more about this top little spot. So we're all anchored up at Tipler's Passage. Um, I'm out the back on the tacky cat floating around just to give you a better idea of what everything is going on. Brooke has a pretty amazing spot, I don't know if you can see her there. And the puppies are all jealous because they want to come on board the boat. Uh, it's blowing a bit harder than we really suspected it would. Um, it's blowing about 20 something knots. You might see little wind sprites behind me on the water. Um, we are floating you know, around a bit, but it's fairly comfortable all in all. We're as close as we kind of can to the, to the uh, shore there. So just behind me, that's all South Stradbroke Island. So in front of me is an island called Never Fail Island, which makes the passage and if you watch some of our other videos the bedrooms are straight up that way you go through Tipler's Passage and uh, bend around a bit and you come out at the bedrooms we have Pippi just behind me keeping an eye on everything so you can see how close we are to the shore just there uh, I, we anchored in about three and a half meters of water um, it does have a pretty steep drop off and I think we're sitting in about four and a half meters now it's coming up to the high tide but the tidal range today is not even worth worrying about i think it's going to move 700 mils uh, over the next tidal tidal flow it's fairly nice here um, one of the things that really draws everyone to tipplers and you can probably see just behind me there are a few boats around and you can see they go off into the distance because there's lots to do along this stretch in front of me is the boat club which is uh you can hire some cabins if you've got a day boat down further you can see some pontoons and we might have a look at that later so there's a cafe there's a bar there's all sorts of things you can do down there there's some visitor pontoons that you can go jump onto if uh, people like us if you don't want to get the tender out we can pull up there for 10 20 minutes grab a coffee and jump back on board so yeah I'll show you a bit more inside but I just wanted to give you an idea I thought while I float around out the back here it's pretty easy to see everything and as you can tell it's nice and calm I've just had a boat go past but this is all a six knot zone too that's the other benefit of this area Ooh. all right let's jump on board and have a bit more of a look ah one last thing before I forget I mentioned we stopped off to uh, run the puppies at Molly Pippa Island for that little sandbank the reason for that is South Stradbroke Island is a national park so the whole island is a national park so puppies are not allowed on there there's a little bit of a loophole in that the 
land doesn't start to the high tide mark, so technically at low tide. And you can mm. see just behind me there's an Australian flag sitting out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere over there. So that all goes dry, so people do run their puppies over there, but puppies are not allowed on the mainland. There's wallabies and all sorts of things up there, so we run the puppies before we come here, um, and yeah, they just have to stay on board the whole time, which they don't love. All right, let's have a bit more of a look at this awesome place. As with all these videos, we've uh, got to go to the chart plotter to check everything out. So let's have a look at where we are. So let's just zoom out a little bit. See, I've got my anchor circle there. So here's South Stradbroke Island. Curran Cove is just in here and the seaway is just there. So it literally only took us about 15, 20 minutes to get up here. As I said, we did have the run of the tide with us. Go back a little bit. As you can see, we're in four meters of water. That's not really going to change too much while we're, while we're at anchor here. It's um, pretty good the whole time. Lastly, I'll just show you the tides. And you can see the tides going forward. Oh, it's high tide now at one meter and going down to 0.3. So not really enough to talk about. All right. So you can see, even with 20 knots of wind, we're probably 20 meters from the shore. We're flicking around a little bit, but there's no hull noise and uh, it's quite calm. As we sit here, fingers crossed that wind drops overnight and uh, it makes it a little bit more pleasant. And uh, yeah, almost time for sundowners. drive up and have a bit of an explore. So pulling up to one of the pontoons and we'll go have a look around. So we're just walking up South Strawberry Island from that first jetty that we got to. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the amenities we've got. There's plenty to do on the island. Heaps of fishing if that's your thing. Obviously there's all the Bay of Islands down here in the South Morton Bay. So um, plenty of places to fish and crab, plus there's exploring the island, so it's about a kilometre that way over to a surf beach. Better know how to surf pretty well, there'll probably be no one else out. But lots to do and there's heaps of amenities everywhere. I'll show you with heaps of people camping, there's little cabins, little dongers, so you can um, get in there if you, if you don't have a, a bigger boat, you can just bring a day boat, everything you need and stay there. Here's the cafe, I won't think about people. So you get everything you need. Bacon egg rolls, very good. Coffee's pretty good for an island. And you can just see the amount of tables here, so it does get pretty full. And as I said, you can do some camping here. So there's the camp office just to log in and get your supplies. So the cafe is pretty good. Get all, you know, if you've been on the jet ski all day, it's a good place to grab a burger or a, um, a beer at the end of the day. Just come back down the beach to show you how many boats do get around here, which is why this is uh, just the last weekend in winter. Um, so you can imagine this in summer, it gets very crowded, but you've got all the jet skis pulling up. We're right down, down there, a couple hundred meters. Um, just further that way is Ducks, which is the private um, area for the Southport Yacht Club. Um, so you can stay there, but yeah, you can see there's a few pontoons to pull up at and just the anchorage goes the whole way. Jet skis can pull in and the cafe is just up that ramp. Um, so yeah, let's go have a bit more of a look. And just down where, near where we anchored are two private camping spots. So the boat club and the South Strabrota Anchorage, you can become a member there and there's dongers and things so you can stay there for very cheap i think it's like 15 bucks a night for your family so once again it's really catered for the day boater they can come over here it's 20 minutes from the seaway rip over here stay for a few nights 
do some fishing, do whatever you need to do, and uh, get back out on the water. Or if you've got a, if you can stay on the water, um, it's a nice anchorage, as I said. But don't want to be here in a in a northerly. It's um, yeah, it'll blow you onto the beach. So here's our little tacky cat. We'll head back down to the boat. So I hope you enjoyed those amenities. I think we're going to jump on board. Uh, the wind looks to be getting up a bit, so I'm going to get back down there, tidy everything up, and get ready to go. So that's the puppy beach behind me. You can see it's out of the way to keep them on the on the leads. And uh, Brooks heading over there now for some reason. Yeah, we're going to go back to the puppies, see how they're doing. And, uh, get everything set and probably head off. Well, there you have it. Beautiful tipless passage. Perfect spot, not too far from the Gold Coast. We hope you enjoyed that video of everything this place has to offer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on the rudder. Happy boating. <laughs>